What up folks, I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the Super 7 Toho Ultimate Heisei Mecha Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla 1993 from Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2. That's right, my Zillion's a really, really cool box. Very robotic looking. Nice raised pieces, as we've come to expect. Very, very cool. I like it a lot. It's kind of like a hanger bay type deal. Looking great. Kanji looks awesome on the front. Very much like it a lot. And then on the inside, you get Mecha Godzilla. Looking pretty cool. I was definitely looking forward to this one uh, of the two Wave 2s. This one, like, really looked amazing. It looked fantastic on display at Toy Fair. So definitely uh, looking like one of the better looking Heisei Mechagodzillas that we've gotten, period. So um, is it? I don't know. We're going to do the review and find out. So let's just do that. Without any further ado, let's get to the review. Before we move forward, I did forget to, I, I rushed through that opening to mention uh, the beautiful back of the box, which has my, probably my all-time favorite Heisei, you know, favorite period maybe, uh, Godzilla poster. It is awesome, a Rhino Ryoshi poster. Look at that thing. That looks incredible. Mecha Godzilla quite doesn't look like that, but you know, it is what it is. Still good stuff. And here's Mecha Godzilla out of the package. And boy, did I have to adjust this lighting to uh, to capture this guy right. Um, it's just it's silver all over, and it's a decent finish overall. Although it's not a perfect finish, uh, but it's good. You know, like there's some spots where it looks a little odd, but almost like a suit. So I don't hate that. Uh, as we're doing a up and down here. So you could see it's very nice and silver, but there are some spots that are, get a little weird, like, you know, this end of this tail here. See that? So it's not like perfectly applied and there's like weird spots like here, which looks like welded. Um, again, not so bad in terms of kind of looking like a tokusatsu suit. So I actually don't mind that bottom of the feet. Look pretty good. I like how they did that, you know. They kind of, you know, uh, put the writing, the legal stuff, right in the middle there. And it, it kind of works. So they look really good, I, I got to say. Um, got big old ball joints over here in black, but I, I don't mind that either. The toes look pretty good. The rest of the legs look not bad. Black in here. Again, some little spots here and there that just are not perfect. Oh. And then the rest of the tail. I think it looks pretty good, honestly. Then you got the back here. And, uh, yeah. So, if you saw my unboxing, my biggest problem was this. And it continues to be my biggest problem is this. This just does not want to stay in. Um like in the least so that is a massive bummer and you can see it's just like you know it's cut in there but it's not like the way they did it like you see like little grooves here and stuff but it doesn't really correspond to anything and it just kind of sits in there by friction and it's not very well frictioned so not not great not great at all. I mean, that's a big bummer. I mean, it feels kind of solid for a second, and it just pulls right out. Um, yeah. But those dorsals look all right. The jetpack looks okay. I like the middle section here. I think that looks pretty good. Then you got the arms, which do look a little small, but yeah, I'd say that's kind of accurate. The hands look really nice. Both sides. You got black here. You do have some mess up around there i like the elbow joints i think that looks pretty decent on the inside there you know what i'm saying the way it's uh sculpted shoulders oh my gosh yeah see that like i mean i gotta say it, that kind of ruins the figure for me because it's just a bummer um this part here looks pretty good 
the chest. Again, it's a little weird looking around here to finish, but it's not terrible at all. I kind of like it, you know? I, I dig the chest. Neck is pretty good. Like, I feel like this back piece is a little more pearlescent. Kind of like the chest. It's a little bit more interesting looking. Back spikes. And then the head sculpt, I think, is pretty good, this one. Let me readjust here. Zoom in. I like the teeth a lot. The black behind it looks really good. You know, you do have, like, seam there. Yellow eyes are done well. Shape is really good. Sculpt is very nice on the head. Little spike there. Yeah, I think the head sculpt is really nice. And honestly, overall, I think it's pretty good. Proportions are, I'd say, pretty good. Like I, like I said in the beginning, looks-wise, I feel like this is one of the better-looking Heisei Mecha Godzillas, you know? And it does remind me of the old Trendmasters, you know, um, in a way. Not, not a bad thing, because that one was awesome. So you can see this is turn around here. You can see this a little better. So I don't know. I, I mean, I like it. I think it looks wise, you know, on its own. looks pretty good. I gotta say, I, I mean, you know, imperfections... Aside, it, it's a nice imposing piece. It is the biggest of the Super 7 uh, pieces. You know, it's just giant. Um, and I think it works. I, I do think it works. And articulation on this guy. The head moves like so. Shoulders only come out that much, unfortunately. And then they swivel around. You have a swivel at the elbow. And a single joint. You have a hinge. A swivel at the wrist. The waist moves like so. It can go back and forth a little bit. So it, it is on a big ball joint, as you can tell. I would think. And that's that thing again. The legs actually come out. Like, he could do a full split. And I think that's really awesome. Um, kicks forward, goes back, and you got rotation up here. So that is really, really good. Then the knee joint... Just does that, but that works. The ankle joint works like this. So that's pretty good. And the tail does not move at all. But I think um, the hip joints, man, they, they really, really work uh, well. And that's that's great because and with the ankle rocker, if it wasn't for this thing, um, with the ankle rocker, I mean, you get them in a lot of poses, and you can see these big feet. They lend themselves to, to being balanced. And uh, that 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 is cool. Honestly, I think that looks great. So, for accessories, first up, uh, we get two extra hands. These have uh, the fingers outstretched. I guess we'll need them for flying mode. That's all right, baby. We're going to do some flying mode. But, and, I mean, it is fairly easy, but I do want to say that the pegs are very, very tiny on these. So do be careful. I, I almost felt like I almost broke one. We also uh, get this alternate head with the mouth open and uh, that looks pretty good. I, I do uh, like that one. So let's bring this guy in and pop this head off possibly on screen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, feels very tight. Let's not do it on screen. A little heat later, and there you go. I didn't actually push this one all the way in because I, I, I got to switch it the other head as well. Uh, so I don't want it to be... It's it's tight. You're going to have to heat this up, the interior of this one up again uh, as well. But that's how it would look here. You know, maybe he's got, you know, uh, missile fingers, but he, he doesn't. But maybe you could pretend he does. And here is uh, the flying head. Looks pretty good. You know, it's obviously tilted upwards. But everything appears good. The eyes, the mouth. And that, just take off. That we can stick on. Again, not pushing it all the way. 
And then we get some uh, effect parts here for some uh, rocket boosting action. We get two different ones because we have two ways of doing so. Oh, this thing came out again. But whatever, I'm not going crazy about it. Not even going to... Aw. But you have holes there, which I'm assuming are for these. Let's let's find out. And then we'll make it nicer. Yeah, these I think will go in here. Like so. Yeah. Pretty cool. So that's that's pretty neat. Let's, let's put this back for fun. Um do this for fun as well. You gonna work with me? Oh, Push it in more. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then do that. And then he'd be flying like so. We have feet ones. I don't think these go in here. They don't. But you get it. I like that. That is cool. They don't come out. They look good there. The head looks good like that. Um, so this, this is pretty awesome, guys. Look at that. I feel silly. These are for here. Because I was like... About to move on to one of the centerpieces of the whole thing. And I'm like, where did these effect parts go on that thing? And they don't go on that thing, which is kind of a bummer. But um, they do go here. So, yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> totally forgot he had boosters coming out of there. But that looks really good. Next up, we have uh, an alternate belly plate. Um, and it's, you know, for blasting action. So... I'm guessing this comes out or it oh it doesn't it just hook this hooks on uh i guess this just hooks on because i see a little groove there does that work that works that worked fine yes oh that's great i like that it looks good i like that the center is a more gunmetal look in uh silver yeah really really nice that is awesome i'm loving how this is looking right now and so flying in is the Garuda. I always liked the Garuda. Really cool ship. Um, these wings might be a tad small, uh, but I like the gray. I like the silver. It says G-Force in there. Almost like it was painted on, um, well, like a marker, like a Sharpie or something. It, it, it's very odd, uh, but not too unlike what it really is. Then you have uh, white, you have the uh, little cockpit here, which I like. I think that looks really cool. The guns look really nice, honestly. Uh, they do. Got paint at the ends there. The back is this annoying connector again, uh, which we're definitely going to have problems with. Uh, and But the back itself isn't so bad. It's pretty decent. Maybe, maybe these wings aren't right. I can't remember right now. Uh, aren't wrong. Uh, but you got the boosters in the back that look pretty good. So, I don't mind this. I think it looks good. Uh, it would have been good if they gave us a stand for it because, you know, it's its own thing. But, um, something. Something, guys. Come on. Uh, but, yeah. It, it does look good, in my opinion. I, I do like it. Now, you know, that's out of there. Uh, this does hold better, thankfully. It still is not perfect, but obviously you can see it holds way better. And you want to bring these down. And, boom. That looks awesome. I really like that. You know, you got the Mega Buster Cannon, which I couldn't remember what it was called before. Uh, um, and this, the Garuda on there. I, I think that looks really, really good. Honestly, it looks really cool. But wait, the final piece of the puzzle are these awesome metal poles that go into his arms, which I actually just filmed, just full disclosure, with thinking that uh, there was actually no hole there, but had a really... Um, find a proper angle to get it into the holes. Uh, but you didn't need to see all that because I, I there yeah, actually is a hole there. And I, I started out very negatively uh, because it wouldn't go in at first for me. But here's the result and it does go in. However, I will say something that the initial picks had a little thing that went around here. Um, and that is no longer there. I guess they decided it doesn't work. Um, but this does, again, you got to find the right spot. There you go. The tips look really good. I could shoot Godzilla with them. That's pretty cool. And like the full look, man, I like. That is awesome. 
There's no doubt about it. That is awesome. You cannot deny this Mecha Godzilla. He is cool. And if you're going to say something about his head being goofy or something, um, have you ever seen this Mecha Godzilla? He's goofy looking. That's what he looks like. Uh, I have no problem with the way Super 7 did this because that's that's what you're getting from this Mecha Godzilla. But I like this. I think this looks really good. This stays on attached a lot better. Um, this is the look. This is the look with the Mega Buster Cannon, the things shooting out, the, the, the metal rods, you know, that makes it nice and s stable. I like it. I like it, guys. This is good stuff. And for your size comparisons, first up, here he is with his WaveMate Burning Godzilla. Uh, and you can see, he, it is a big figure. Uh, I don't mind that. Uh, I think he looks really cool. Um, he's way, 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 way better than Burning Godzilla. Here it is uh, with the Shogun Godzilla and a Biolanti. I'm not going to bring in all the other Godzillas, you know, one is enough. But uh, here they are, here it is with two other, like, Toho or Shogun uh, Ultimates. And here it is uh, with the Dragon Zord and the T-Rex Zord. And I'm happy to say he scales really well with them. Much better than the other um, Godzillas. Uh, the mechs all scale perfectly. And uh, I got to say, they are my three, well, Shogun notwithstanding because it's so special for me. Uh, my three favorite uh, uh, Super 7 Ultimates that came out this year. Uh, I'm pretty sure at least. Yeah, I think so. Um, these guys are, oh well, and, uh, and Grimlock. I love Grimlock. Uh, but these guys, these guys are fantastic. And uh, one last uh, size comparison. Actually, finished this, and then I was like, oh, wait, I didn't compare it to any other Mecha Godzilla's, and I really wanted to do that. Uh, here it is with the Movie Monster series, and one of the the uh, SH Monster Rods. I feel like this is the first one with the Garuda. Uh, and then uh, my big Tram Master is in the back, because it's awesome. And my final thoughts, you know, this guy um, turned it around from the beginning, I felt like. Um, there's a few things I was a little iffy on, and by the end of this review, um, I'm really, I don't care. Uh, I really like this. It, it's good. You know, Super 7 and Mechs are doing well by me this year for sure. Dragon Zord, Grimlock, T-Rex Zord, and now Mechagodzilla. All gonna be on my tops of the year. Uh, I, I really like this guy a lot. He is cool. Uh, it just feels awesome. He's big. He feels like the other Mechs, and uh, you know, my big problem was the regular backpack but Garuda he's, it stays on pretty well so um, that's a good thing I really like how it looks with the Mega Buster Cannon I really like how it looks uh, with the I forget what they called but the, the electro cord things uh, they look pretty good too uh, after an initial like weirdness with them it's not a perfect looking figure there's some imperfections here and there but overall I like it I'm a Mecha Godzilla guy, so um, this this works, um, and uh, I dig it. It's it's definitely one of my favorites um, of the '93, in my opinion. I think it looks really good. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know uh, your thoughts uh, down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content and let me help you diversify your collection. Till next time, peace out, peeps.